Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. So I've been messing around this winter and uh, I decided I was going to make one of those shaker tables that uh, Dave from Orphelia on YouTube has graciously given everybody the plans for um, and, and made some videos on how to. I made some modifications of my own and I'll kind of show you what I've come up with so far. Okay, so this is the table right here and uh, what I've done is, is that I've, I've built it out of aluminum and uh, I've, I've, I made a urethane mat. Um, this is kind of a model that I've, I've, I've some trial and error in it and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I've used a Harbor Freight a stand under there to, to mount this to and uh, it's, that's tall enough that I could put a tub in over there on the opposite side so I can recirculate my water supply through it and then my tailings I catch in a bigger bucket and my concentrates I catch in a little tub on the far edge there. So uh, I'll fire this up and show you how the how the water system works. First of all I'll talk about my controller a little bit. It's the same thing that Dave on Orphelia did. It has a microprocessor in here um, and I put some uh, voltage potentiometer or voltage meters in here to read how the potentiometers for the pump are reading. Okay, so I'm currently running this on uh, um, a Milwaukee M18 lithium ion battery. We'll plug it in there. I have a little inverter there that drops that back down to 12 volts, goes into my machine here, and uh, we'll get it filled up with some water. We better slow it down. A little too much water in there, but so we could control the water flow. That works pretty good. I've got a little brush that I, I clean stuff up with and uh, works pretty good. What I've got here is some sand. I'm gonna get a little water in it. Get this worked up in here. We can we can run this through. Okay. Now this has got some bigger pieces in it. This works way better. This table works way better if you uh, if you classify out the material. We're just going to sweep this all on there. I'll get a little more water in there. Swoosh this around. Okay. All right. Now I'll bring you in, and you can see what's going on there. So this is mostly black sand, so but you can see that it's definitely keeping that stuff sorted out and uh, letting the heavies do what they are supposed to do and work along there. All the lights are definitely getting washed off over the top. So a guy could actually use this to concentrate um, silver ore. I'm going to change my balance here a little bit so that we get a little more a little more bump in it there we go okay this is going to keep working that stuff right along there now one of the little issues that I've got, I don't really think it's an issue, but uh, I'll show you here. We'll zoom in here a little bit. We get this to focus. Is that the gold sticks in the in my ranch? The bigger pieces, it won't 
it doesn't want to work its way out. Let me shut the water off, make sure you guys can see that. The gold is stuck there at the end, a bigger, little bit bigger pieces. And this is some pay dirt that I bought just to test this out with. Um, just so you guys don't think I hit it rich or anything. And uh, there we go. That's kind of how this works. You can see that it's uh, it's getting everything concentrated right down there in that last corner in the trough, in the trough and we're collecting the heavies. So the other part of the shaker table project is that, as, as a lot of you know, I am a high school shop teacher. And uh, I've, got, I've got a couple of young men that are juniors this year that have decided that they'd like to try and uh, create some revenue to go to uh, higher education. They both want to go to trade school. And uh, so I presented the opportunity that maybe if we made some of these, we could sell them. So we're in the process of building four more. Um, they're a little bit more refined. Uh, the controllers are actually put together a little bit more um, log logically. Uh, the, the aluminum trays are all welded together. Um, but remember, they are high school students. There's going to be a little bit of cosmetics that are not super professional. Um, but everything's functional. And uh, so anyways, we're going to get four of these put together. I'm definitely going to get one down to Dave. Uh, he invented it and let him try one out for certain and give me some feedback on it. That's really what we want, we're looking for. If, if this is a, a viable deal, I'm hoping that we can generate enough revenue. We're selling several of these. Uh, we've, as we went through this process, we've set up to um, kind of streamline the production process. So uh, we're, uh, we're, getting, we're taking notes and paying attention to how to speed up our, our process here of manufacturing. So far, they're, they're extremely uh, time consuming. We've got a lot of hours into them so far. Um, but they're coming along. My email is, is in my channel description, so feel free to, to shoot me a line and, and let me know what you think. So, so that's just it. So I'm hoping I can get some feedback, some constructive criticism, uh, what things that we could do to make this setup better or, or what have you. So, all right, that being said, uh, that's going to be it for this video, and we'll catch you next time.